this video, we're going to show how to set up your Alpha Cam and machine for using part location pins. There are a couple different types of pin locating tools. This type is usually made by the manufacturer of the pins. It will usually slide down into the Delrunner plastic cylinder. The method and tool that I'm going to use in this video is the pointer tool that we normally use to set the location of the tool change grippers. I'll center each part locating pin by lowering the pointer into the dimple on the top of the pin. So the first thing we'll do is get some measurements off the tool. For the length, I'll round it up to about 4 inches, and I'll use an inch and a quarter for the diameter. I'll use these values when I define the tool in my AlphaCam tool library. I'll select a flat end tool type, and then I'll use a tool number of 200 so it forces a manual tool change. And we'll use the length of 4 and the diameter of 1.25. Units are inch rotation clockwise, and we don't want any coolant. Now, we're going to have to have a spindle speed. I'll set it low, maybe 500, and then I want a really slow down feed. So I'm going to go 10 for a fixed feed, and also 10 for the fixed down feed as well. These two numbers will have to be the same because we are going to use a drilling cycle. And we can leave this as a flat end tool, or if you have the pointy tool and you'd like it to look correct, we'll just set a taper. And then we'll have to put an angle on, I guess it's about 45 degrees. And we'll leave the end diameter at zero. And then I'll click OK, and I'll give it a name, 200 Pin Locator Tool. I'll have to add this same tool in the tool library of the Titan. So I'm going to go to Setup, go to Tool Library, and then I'll find a position for 200, and I'll choose to edit it. I'll use a similar name and the same pocket number that I used in my AlphaCam tool library. The approximate diameter and length that we measured is all that we'll need because we're only working with the center of this tool and we'll be manually lowering it into position so we can save and close this tool. Now we're ready to create and run the program. One of the things we'll need is an accurate measurement of the part pin's diameter. We'll be drawing the part pins in AlphaCam as a circle with the exact diameter. And then I'll set the circle off to the side so I can copy them into their locations. Normally, I'll snap to one of the quadrants as the base point if my part is fairly square. And then I'll use my auto snap, which is pressing my F2 key, which has a built-in nearest snap to set it down. In this example, I'm placing the pins against the offset material edge. This would be an example of using the part location pins instead of the laser, and we would still have to cut all of the edges, including the wall scribe. If the wall scribe was already cut to finish size, then we would place the pins against the finish size, and we wouldn't have to cut it on the Titan. Whichever method you choose, we can now make a program to go to each pin location. First step being selecting our part location pin tool as the active tool by going to select tool, double clicking on the tool, and clicking once anywhere in the drawing to make it active. And then we're going to use cut holes to program it to bring that tool to each location. In this first tab, we can verify the tool, and we'll use the default settings. And under Levels, we'll set our safe rapid level to 5, we'll wrap it down 1 inch to 4, and then we'll say that the material top is 2 
and so is the bottom of the hole. There shouldn't be any changes needed under Tool Data, so I'll click OK and then select all three pins. If you get this warning, you can disregard it and your program will run fine. If you prefer, we can correct it by making our tool diameter the same as the part location pins. Just go and select the tool, choose to edit it, and then change the diameter to the same diameter of the circles that we've drawn for the part location pins. In my case, 1.97. Then OK and save the tool and insert this newly changed tool as active in our drawing. Then reapply the same cut and you'll see that we don't get the message anymore because it thinks that our drill bit is the same size as the hole. You can save this as a style just like any other. Right click an operation, save as a new style and I'm going to name mine part pin location. With the part pin toolpaths applied, we can send this to the machine. Out at the machine, load your program as normal and set up the pods as normal and vacuum them down. Hook up the vacuum lines for your pins, but keep the valves turned off. Start the program safely as you normally would. The first thing that'll happen in my program is it will come forward so I can manually insert a tool. Insert the tool, then cycle start to run the program so it will move X and Y to the position of the first pin. Stop the machine when Z starts to lower. Use your pendant or remote to carefully lower only Z and then move the location pin to the pin locating tool until the pin is perfectly centered under your spindle. Then you can turn on the vacuum valve to that pin to hold it securely in that position. And now we can set the next pod by going to single block and selecting it before we cycle start. And again stop the machine after the X or Y move and the Z starts to come down. And again Move and adjust this part location pin so that the pointer tool fits perfectly in the dimple at the top. And vacuum the pin down. Repeat this process for the rest of the pins. Single block and run the machine into position. Fit the part pin under the locating tool and vacuum it down. To use these pins, place your part on the pods with float on and move the part so that it's against the pins just like it was in the drawing. Then vacuum your part down and it's best to remove the pins before running a part program. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.